For the last year I've had the privilege of working with Dundee City Council through their Health and Wellbeing Officer um, to look at ways of raising attainment through numeracy and using that as an approach not only just to um, improving standards within schools but also um, improving health and wellbeing as well. So this has involved three full training days with teachers working at level two within Dundee schools. That's primary five to primary seven. We're going to count in twos. Step, step, 42. Four. The idea of teaching outdoors was alien to me, absolutely alien. Um, I had no idea what this could possibly look like until I went on the course came back absolutely buzzing and started straight away. Got right outside there with the children, starting off very simply, small periods of time outside, keeping it simple. We did mental agility. We used sticks to help us keep rhythm for counting. Um, we children made up little times table dances. So the learning also came from them, which is so important. Great. Right, is it my turn now? We then expanded to learning con the concept of measurement, perimeter, we did angle outside, we did division, multiplication, fractions. Yeah. It was unbelievable, the possibilities mm. and, and how, how simple it all became. Exactly one yeah. centimetre, but almost. Well done. Maths outside is not confined in the space the children can use and their thoughts, developing their concepts. There's mm. no limit yeah. to their learning when they have physical materials to work with. Yeah, and I think that's what I found too, was that when I went outside, suddenly my teaching, just it, it just expanded. Yeah, and again, whereas before I'd always been slightly stressed about the number of, you know, what activity did I need to meet this objective, suddenly I started to see a myriad of different ways of doing things. I love it when you have sticks on the ground and children are moving the sticks around, talking about this quick mental recall as they convert between centimetres and metres and they're doing quick calculations. And you know if you'd asked them to do this in the classroom, you know, what's 2.6 plus 3.8, you would have had that long silence and you would have had to force it out of children, whereas it just all happens so spontaneously, doesn't it? If they can create 2.6 and 2.8 with the physical materials, it's there, yes, straight away. I have an excitement about teaching maths that I've never had before. I've been teaching for 26 years and I feel like I've been reborn in my teaching when it comes to maths. I love seeing the children so engaged in maths mm. and saying to me, I love maths, which we didn't hear in the past because there would be a bit of anxiety around maths mm. in the past. In terms of health and well-being and enthusiasm and motivation, the overwhelming answer is yes. The children really liked the sessions, even though they said sometimes they felt a bit cold. This was clearly not enough to put them off being outside. And likewise, it was the comments from the teachers who that was most um, encouraging. Teachers who said this has given them a new lease of life. It's made them rethink how they do maths. So some good starting points are um, if you go on a course, look for one that gives you open-ended frameworks rather than this is one idea for doing one aspect of maths outside. It's because what you need is um, a creative approach where you can take a, a concept and apply it to lots of different areas of maths. So for example, ways of getting outside that then you can apply across different areas of maths. In our school, there was generally a feeling of apprehension and lack of confidence in teaching maths. We had had some training in the idea of conceptual understanding, but we were not confident with that at all. When I took my class outdoors and started teaching concepts outside, it all became absolutely clear. This became a tool for myself to share with the school the teachers were so excited, they embraced the whole idea, 
they started taking their classes outdoors and now we do have a much better understanding of conceptual learning.